Hi, Billy Mays here from Mighty Putty. The easy way to fix, fill, and seal virtually anything fast and make it last. Mighty Putty is not a glue, but a super-powered epoxy that you can mold to any shape and apply to most any surface for an everlasting bond. Just cut like dough, need to activate, apply, and let dry. It has the muscle to support up to 350 pounds. Here's something you can't do with glue. Mighty Putty seals leaks instantly. All right. Hold do you button. have an invention in mind but aren't sure how to bring your idea into fruition? Well, we have Bill McAllister here, uh, President of Direct Response and Media Enterprises, Inc., to show you how to take your projects to the next level. Welcome, Bill, How are you? to Primetime. Good to see Good you to again. Good to see you, too. So, a lot of viewers don't realize this, but I'm also in direct response yes, uh, industries. And, and what you just saw, Billy May's commercial, was an infomercial. Uh, DR spot. Right. So Bill is a marketer and he goes and scouts people like you, ordinary people that might have an idea, a, usually a problem solution idea. Like you. Like me. I too had a, a problem solution yes, you idea. Did. Absolutely. But, um, and we'll talk about my idea that we, t now it's full retail. Mm -hmm. So he scouts out these ideas, people, ordinary people, and he can take that idea, turn it into a product. Right, Absolutely. and then make a commercial on that product, and then with no time at all, it becomes a hit, and it's full retail. So you go to every drugstore, Target, Walmart, and you see the as seen on TV products, and he's the one responsible. Well, you make one it sound him. you make it sound easy. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. A, it, it's it, not well, that easy. It would it's be great if it easy. was. Yes, it would so be. let's talk about the reality. For every, let's say, for every find, if we call an invention a find. Mm -hmm. How many of those turn into a hit? How many fines do you have to have to get a hit? Well, I'm at the uh, infomercial show now here in San Diego, and it's official. One out of 39 commercials makes money, which means 38 out of 39 don't make money. So the percentage is teeny tiny. But my percentage is about 50% of what I take on and do a product with uh -huh. makes money and goes on to hit the retail shelves. What has been your biggest success so far? Is it Tagaway? Well, Tagaway, is, which is out there for skin tags, it may sound kind of gross. No, we've played it on our network yeah. where all of a sudden you see, you know, people have tags. I've, you know, you. It's you a huge problem. It's a, and it's a, it's a huge, huge problem. Solution, right? right? Tagaway. Right. So people, that's killing it. It's killing it. But You're I making a lot of money. Your Obama's going to come after you for that uh, Tagaway he, he, product. He already has. He, he already, already has. has. <laughs> but my biggest success probably is the Sobakawa pillow. And that's now 14 years old. We've sold 14 million pieces now. Yeah. And you were part of that. You were actually a host of, of yep. my show. And she's actually more of just a pretty face. More than a news yeah, anchor. Yes. I do, I get, yes, I do. I endorse products. And I've also invented my own product, the Hot Buns. Which is also a very successful product. One of the best selling products right now at retail. And so. I actually got that idea just knowing that it was a problem solution. Women were you putting their hair in these sock right. buns and buns were becoming popular. So I pitched to Bill, I can invent a product to make it easy for women right. and that's killing their hair. Let's throw to the commercial because I also produce this commercial and I did it a little different than the typical formulation. Let's show them right real quick. Welcome to Fabulous Finds. Love those elegant dudes but can't do them yourself? Well, now you can. Here's your host, Taylor Baldwin. From the red carpet to a day at the office, buns are back in a big way and bouncy curls are here to stay. Hi, I'm Taylor Baldwin and you are going to love hot buns. It's the simple styling solution that gives you multiple glamorous do's anyone can do. Honestly, my buns have never looked this good. Just roll, snap, and wrap. It was so easy, so much easier than making a sock bun. I love it. I love hot buns. It goes in fast and easy. It feels good. And ladies, we're not just talking up to. When you remove hot buns, you'll have gorgeous curls. <laughs> <pearls. laughs> so the fun thing about this commercial, I shot it at the North County Fair. Uh, so I used real testimonials, and then I picked up the B-roll shots in my own home to keep the cost low because that's the deal with these DR spots. You want to produce these commercials, but we right. don't know they're going to be hit, so you want to keep your costs low. I use my friends for <laughs> models. My daughter's in the commercial. Nihon's in the commercial, who now does our social media here on the UT. That's great. But I wanted it to be funny, kind of swanky, where people are like, what? Did she really say that? And but, it worked. But if you're an inventor out there, what you did yeah. is exactly what your inventors need to do. 
It's got to be a solution to a problem you have every single day. Yeah. And if it's not, it's not going to sell. Yeah. And so many inventors have come to me, even today, with products that I saw 20 years ago, they don't do the research. Yeah, and do your research you and make sure the product's research. out there. Make sure there's not a patent already out on that right, product. Right, right. But, uh, so the conference for infomercials are happening right now at the Hilton Bayfront, and we're going to go there tomorrow. I'm going to bring in a right. photographer, and right. we're going to show people how to take the product soup to nuts. But here's the thing. Ordinary folks, you're out there living your life. You know the problem. Do you have the solution? And if you have that solution, you do your homework, and nobody else has thought of that, I mean, you, you can, can make, make millions, millions, millions and millions, millions and millions. And we sold Mighty Putty. We sold 27 million sticks of Mighty Putty. Yeah. And the, you know, the person who brought it to us, we probably paid him three or four million dollars, and he put no investment into it. Yeah. So I take all, you know, I take all the risk. I take all the investment upon myself. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, you know, I go on to the next one. That's what I love about you. When I first met Bill, and he said, "Do this, uh, the strap perfect that." that product that conceals your bra straps. And I was in news and I turned my nose up. I thought, what? You want me to do a two minute spot right. on a product that conceals your bra straps? That thing hit it, it worked. And he told me the amount of money that I would make. And I thought, that's not true. He's not. And how close was I? You Almost to the penny. It was to the penny. Yeah. And, and I, I was hooked after that. And it is a great, it's a great industry. And not, not every invention has to be a direct response product. But the great thing about yeah. direct response is you get it out there quickly. You can make a lot of money. Uh -huh. And if it's a problem solution thing where this is a solution to your problem, that product can be on the shelf like hot buns probably yeah. for 10, 15 years. So what, so what is the biggest mistake inventors make? They don't do the research. Yeah. To your first point, somebody brought me this great, I, th I thought it was a great idea. A pair of eyeglasses where you could turn them that was polarized on one side, not polarized on the other. So when you turned them from the top to the bottom on the lens, it would actually go clear to dark. I thought it was a brilliant idea until I did my research. Mr. John Land, who owns Polaroid, invented that product and patented it in 1941. <laughs> And they had spent millions of dollars yeah. updating that patent all the way up until now. That person took a mortgage out in their house oh. even before they did the research. So do your research. Make sure someone doesn't already invent that product. But it, you know, it and is you did that with Hot Buns. Yeah, you, I did. You did all the research. It's not, it sounds easy. There's a lot of work that goes into it, as you know. Yeah, but in less product. than a year, I was able to take my product, invent it, and uh, get it full retail. So another thing, let's tell the viewers what the steps are. First, you invent the product, then what? You got to you got to meet up with it. The, to ha make it low risk for you, you want to pitch it to a marketer like yourself, Correct. and then explain to the viewers what happens after that. Well, first, you you want to make sure there's nothing out there. You want to get an attorney, and hopefully a low cost attorney, mm -hmm. and just make sure that they go out. You may research the product, but make sure they do research the product. And they'll help protect you before you come to a, mar a marketer. Because the marketer, you want to make sure he'll sign a non-disclosure, non-compete, which means he'll take your idea and he won't give it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So that, that you have to get a non-disclosure, non-compete first. And then you find a marketer, second, any kind of marketer. It could be me. And there's six or seven. You can actually Bill, Google. Bill, the honest guy. Yeah, Bill. but you can Google people that are yeah. in the ICN TV business. And yeah. you know, there's six or seven of us. And go to each one. or You, know, you can call them, send your product in, and, and see where you get the best deal. And then, so what they do is they take that and they turn it into a commercial. They hire a production company to turn right. that into a commercial. And then they buy media. And then they media test it on Correct. different outlets. They figure out what their demographics are. They media test it. And if enough people buy, then they know they got a hit. Right. And then they'll put more money in media. Right. And, then and, and I'll take Tagway as an example. From the day we said we're going to do it, six weeks later now, we were on the air. So we had to name the product. Mm -hmm. Right, trademark the product, package the product, come up with a commercial, pick the c person to do the commercial, actually pay for the commercial, and then produce the commercial. And we were on the air six weeks later, and the product was a grand slam. Well, it's a fifty million dollar business, so That's it's fun. It's fun when it hits, and it's not when it's not. But you know, if you hit fifty percent of the time, it's great. It is great. It's and, great. And so if anybody's curious and wanting any more information, there is an infomercial conference going on. It's called the Response Expo. It's at the Hilton Bayfront. Go check it out. We're going to have a full story on it tomorrow. Thank you so much Pleasure for joining us on you. Prime Time. And uh, to hopefully many more products. Oh, please, please. Stick around. We'll be right back.